Hello everyone, it is John from the Eco Guys, and I have an unboxing to do today. Um, as some of you know, that's been following me for a while, I love, well, I love Christmas time. It's my favorite time of the year. And I love collecting Christmas stuff. If you want to send me anything Christmas, send me a message or an email and I will get you the address to do that because I love Christmas, especially from all over the world or, or like your area, like you have an ornament that says Walla Walla Washington or something like that. Oh my God, I would love that. And I will hang it on the tree and I'll even show it off. Uh, but one thing I love and it's something from my childhood is, whoa, is, is hitting the camera. No, I might do that a couple times. Bear with me. Um, is an alpine village. Now, for some people who know what an alpine village is, these things became popular in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. There's different looks to alpine villages. There's different things. There's one major plastic one that I think was sold a lot of times in Sears or uh, Woolsworth, whatever, and that is the one I love to collect. I have one other Alpine Village uh, in its original box, but it's uh, it's in storage uh, somewhere. And I got this one here recently. I haven't opened it. I don't know the condition, but it doesn't matter. I love Alpine Villages. Uh, I will collect as many as I can. So there's a hint for you and a gift for me. It would work. All right. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna try to open this up with the pair of scissors here it's taped very well and I excuse me for hitting the camera but it's the way I have to set this up and I know this is not the way to do things but this is the way I'm doing things all right so I need a razor is what I need in fact I tell you what let me grab one okay so let's uh let's do some trimming here Get this tape. Of course, every bit of this is going to be recycled, this box and all that. Get green, get wild, always. All right, so let's cut that open. Let's pop it open and see what we got inside. Oh my goodness. This item has been repacked in recyclable can, can you read that hold on let me lift this camera up a little bit if you didn't catch it it says this item has been repacked in recyclable huh. if i can even get this up here again hold on uh in in this has been repacked in recyclable Frustration, <laughs> frustration free packing because the original box was damaged in transit. Okay, so it's got a lot of newspaper in here. We'll make sure that we recycle all of that. All right, so let's see what we got here. More fluff. Now, I always keep this paper, this packing paper. You never know when you need it again. And I always put a note in when I send something to someone saying, please, recycle it again. Okay, so here's the first one. Let's open this up. Usually it's a couple of houses and a church. This one here appears to be the church. And yep, there it is. That is the church. And uh, if you look on the back, it's got little circles, little holes. That's where your Christmas lights go in because it lights up. And I don't have any Christmas lights. I don't think any came with this one. So later on, I'm going to make another video when I start setting up my train. And you'll see the Alpine Village uh, all lit up. So just remember this. Now, I'm probably going to have more Alpine Villages to open and different things to open. But this is this one so far. And uh, this looks pretty good. It, you can tell this is an oldie. This is probably from the 60s or 70s. It's got some yellowing on it. So something told me at one time they may have had this in a window. Something along those lines. Okay. So that was the first one. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, these are definitely faded out. So 
they uh, here's a, what here's there's two yellow houses, two red house. Hold on, I'm sorry, two red houses and, and such. But anyway, uh, two green houses. Uh, but there's a yellow one. I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely faded. Um, doesn't matter. I still love these things anyway. I'm going to keep it. And there's no restoration. Don't ever try to to restore these things. Let them in their natural glory, even if they got faded. So either they put in way too powerful of a light, or these things had direct sunlight on them. That's the yellow house. Let's see what the next one could be. <laughs> it's like Christmas before Christmas. And that is the green one or the blue one. It's kind of hard to tell. I think that may have actually been the blue one. Again, very faded. Still very cool. It's a greenhouse. Alpine Village. I'd love to live in an Alpine Village in real life. I could be very happy there. I could be very happy in an Alpine Village. What about you? Anyway, you know, chopping the wood and having a fireplace. <laughs> They're not supposed to be pink. So these are definitely in the, in the sunlight. Uh, they will not fade like that unless they're in the sunlight. Is that not going to get in focus for some reason. So that's the pink house. And look at that. There's a little Christmas tree inside. Some of these actually, depending on what year you get, the pictures will differ. They'll be different things. And this one's got a little Christmas tree hanging on. I don't think that's normal. So this is definitely, well, let me take a look here real quick. Talk some amongst yourselves. I don't see any date on this. So that's something I'm going to have to research to see which decade this one was. All right, so we're going to open up the next one. What could it be? It is, I think, there we go. I think that's the other blue house. Yeah, it's the other blue house. It's not a green one that faded to blue. It's the other blue house like that one well you see actually no that's a greenhouse that has faded and by looking at the side over here and the fact that there's yellowing here I think what they did is you cannot put too bright of a light you can't put uh, a very bright light in these things you have to put a very small the smallest of dimmest of Christmas lights but that's actually the greenhouse look at that on the side so the other one was the greenhouse too and of course they all got holes for the lights now this is again different my other one does not have a second hole on the on the houses it just has one so that's interesting i wonder if that was either added or that's this is just a different style i don't know but you know you know i'm going to be ordering another alpine village as soon as i see them a real good one on ebay a lot of them are overpriced on ebay okay by looking at the side this is the blue house. A lot of them are overpriced on eBay. Never mind the dirty fingernails. I know. Come on. I'm an eco guy. I was puttering in the garden all day. So I have dirty nails. Man, that's part of the business. Yeah, I don't really remember my other one having these little decorations on the door. So this is definitely its own. Um, and you know what? It's a bird, but it almost looks like a witch, doesn't it? Let's see if I can get that to focus. Can't get it to focus. So life. All right, let's go. Let's see the next one here. Yeah, they either had this in the light or I'm, I'm, I'm convinced. It's, yeah, this is a really faded. That is another blue house right there. And it's really faded, actually. Yeah, it's a blue house. It's a shame these are faded, but I still collect them anyway. It's another blue house. They're very brittle. You gotta be very careful with them. I'm afraid that they might drop while I'm doing this for you. Uh, wait until I unbox some Halloween stuff that I have coming. Oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, boy, this one's wrapped. I mean, overwrapping is not good for the environment, folks. This is 
the other red one. I think it's the red one. It's pretty. I wish I had a set of lights. I'm so sorry I don't. So I can actually light them up for you. But I will light all of my Alpine villages up at one point. And just do a video of them all lit up. And we'll call this one the Faded Bunch. And here's the other yellow. So it's two greens, two blues, two reds, two yellows, and a church. That's, again, sorry about the focusing. But that's the, the other yellow. See, that's the original color of it right there, see? A little faded because this whole front is clear. It all lights up. Set that one over here for right now. And let me take a look inside the box, see if there's anything else. Alright, that's it. That's what I thought. Just the Alpine Village. No lights, no sirens. So let's take all this, put it here. <laughs> I just dropped one. I said, be very careful, don't drop them, and look what I did. Oh my goodness gracious. What a life. Rid of all this stuff and pick it up later. Uh, let's see here. I think I dropped one. So we're going to pick that up. And I have the other yellow sitting over here. I'm not going to be able to fit them all on here. So I'll have to do something funky without dropping them again. Alright, so let's take a look here. Ready? There it is, there's the Alpine Village. I love these things. Now there are other types of Alpine Villages. There's other um, designs, concepts, but what you do is you look for Alpine Village. And if you get these things, they need to be preserved. They definitely need to be preserved. These are things, they don't make these anymore. And this is definitely something from my childhood. Uh, and basically, I, I'm never going to forget it. And my original set was lost in a fire. So that's kind of the reason I feel passionate about saving these villages. I'm going to order another one. This next one we'll do an unboxing on is going to be in its original box with lights and all that. Now, if you're a train enthusiast, like I am, a toy train, this actually is HO scale. Um, very close to HO scale. So you can really set up a, you, wait till you see the Christmas train this year. You can set up a really nice Christmas HO train set, put the Alpine, Alpine Village around it, put the whole thing underneath your tree if you want to, or on a table and uh, light all the houses up and have your train going around for Christmas and all kinds of other things. Uh, like wait until you see, we're gonna have a Halloween set up first with a Halloween train, but wait until you see the Christmas set up. It's gonna be beautiful, I love Christmas. And it's gonna start literally right a day after Halloween. Everything comes down and the Christmas stuff goes up. So there's my eye. Let me try that again. There's the Alpine Village uh, collectible that I got now, and I'm going to be getting more. Um, so if you have anything you want to send me for Christmas, ornaments, decorations, anything, I guarantee you this one thing, they will be preserved. Um, and when I uh, die, <laughs> hopefully a long time from now, they will be willed to one of my kin that I trust the most, one of my daughters that I trust the most, to keep that going in the family. Um, so if you're concerned about something that you, you don't want to uh, go to waste, you can send it to me and it will be treasured. Anything Christmas I love. I, even if you make things by hand, absolutely, and I'll talk about it right here on YouTube. Uh, and this will also be on everything else. It's gonna be on Instagram, it's gonna be on TikTok, it's gonna be on everything. Uh, the person who does all my uploadings, Dino, she will make sure it's on everything. So everyone gets to share in the, the joy that you bring uh, to me and to everyone else. All right, well, we always remember, 
stay green, recycle, reduce, reuse. All that packaging that came here is going to be recycled. The box is going to be recycled. Everything's going to be re re reused. And this Alpine Village will be repacked up for, until Christmas in a very loving and very respectful way. And I can't wait to see the next thing I'm going to get for the October, November, December holidays. All right, so thank you for tuning in. Uh, like, share, subscribe. And always remember, we do a lot of recycling and we do a lot of tree planting and we do a lot of things for a lot of people and we're always running a deficit. We have all of our recycling plans. So a dollar or two towards the cash app, which is in the description, would really, really be a blessing, okay? Take very good care, stay green. Ho, ho, ho!